The next menu item we're going to look at in within the Master Builder menu stream here is uh, accounting reports. Accounting reports in Master Builder, uh, obviously your basic trial balance, balance sheet, income statement, general ledger, uh, your journals, your check register. Which that check register, you can run that. There's a couple different ways to run it. It's kind of been replaced by that executive dashboard since you can drill back to your major checking accounts and bank accounts. Uh, chart of accounts, that's something that, you know, once you get your chart of accounts uh, established, you want to print out so everybody has access to. And a statement of cash flows, which most of the CPAs require you to kind of keep an eye on, and the banks as well. Uh, if I go to income statement, and that's where I want to go right now, if I pull up an income statement, this one here happens to be uh, this period, so, that, you know, for the month, the current month, you know, we had sales of uh, 455000 Year to date, or last year at this point in time, we had sales of 3.9 million. So this is comparing this year versus last year. And so let's just go back one screen here and show you what you have a choice of. We have this year versus last year, this month and year to date, just a plain income statement. Uh, if you are preparing budgets, which we really encourage companies to do, is to prepare budgets for your annual, uh, annual on an annual basis. Uh, you would then compare your actual versus the budget to see if you're on track to where you expect to be at the end of the year. The other one is if you happen to use departments, which was explained in the other video, uh, if you have a department for estimating and another department for project management and another department for San Diego versus Las Vegas or Las Vegas and Los Angeles offices, you can then track income per those departments and then get departmental reporting at the income statement level to see how those are doing and whether they're maintaining their sales to cover their overhead and how are they compared to last year or how are they doing to the budget that we prepared. So not a lot here, but there is a lot here. It's lots of different ways to look at this, you know, skipping accounts, rounding to the nearest. Anyway, in Master Builder, as you've seen, you get lots of choices. Uh, I'm going to just pull up a real quick chart of accounts here. Uh, in the other video, you probably saw that we have a choice of four-digit and five-digit chart of accounts. That is our two choices. We've always been able to help the customer decide on what type of chart of accounts would be best for them. We try to mimic what you already have. If you're coming off of a system that has no numbers, obviously this will be new to you. But if we put numbers to them, as you can see, uh, all of our cash accounts are in the 1,000. All of our current assets range between 1,100 and 1,200. Lots of room to you know, you know, inject another account in there. Uh, if you added accounts or different bank accounts, uh, you'll see that in Master Builder, we give you lots of opportunities to customize the GL to the way it will work best for you. That is pretty much it uh, covering financial statements. Uh, we know that they do a good job. You can export them to Excel if you want to you know, take them out and do something else with them. The fact is, is that we do have all the financial statements that you're going to need to manage your business. Thanks for watching. Uh, there's lots of other videos. Hope you enjoy them as well. Thank you.